Hi guys, this is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today with my May melting basket. You know what's crazy about the new year? I feel like January drags on for three lifetimes and then the rest of the year just flies by. Like, I feel like it was just April 1st and here we are about to be in the month of May. By the time this video goes live, it will be May. So yay for another month of 2024. Um, I have, I'm not even gonna say a ridiculously large melting basket, it's packed. But if y'all watch my empties videos, you know I get through wax. So it's gotta be packed to fulfill all of my heart's desires on what I wanna warm, when I wanna warm it, etc. So if you're excited to see, or if you're interested, I don't know if you're excited, but if you're interested to see what I've tossed in my melting basket for the month of May, then please stay tuned. Okay, so my goal is not to open and sniff anything. We're just gonna kind of run through these scents just so you can see what I'm thinking about. First up, I got two scents from L3. Um, Love Shack, which is Blonde Moment and Watermelon, and then Fresh Picked Strawberries, Watermelon and Vanilla Lace. I have um, another scent from my 540 sampler, which is Palo Santo, Vanilla Birch, Oud, and Baccarat Rouge 540. I have uh, this from Teddy B's that I purchased from Miss Summer in a uh, D stash, and this is Kuawi, Kaui, Kaui Sunset, um, which is Arabian Jasmine, toasted coconuts, and cream, passion fruit, and hints of guava and, guava and orange. And this is perfectly cured because it just was poured in April of 2023. I haven't decided where I'm going to warm that yet. Um, I also have for my D stash honey cornbread from Candles from the Keeping Room. I'm excited about that as well. Okay, then we got two mini loaves here from L3. We got wild berry mousse, zucchini bread, sugar cookie royale, and buttercream frosting. Oh, that smells good coming out of the bag. And then I also have fresh out of the oven, which is fresh baked bread, sliced pears, brown sugar, and butter. Y'all know I'm a bakery, I'm a bakery girl at heart. So of course it's what I'm gonna gravitate towards. From Britta's, I have Appleberry, which is Mac Apple, Strawberry, Blackberry, Vanilla Bean, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Okay, um, I think I'm just gonna start dropping stuff down here on the floor. From Salt Mountain Melts, I have Outer Banks, which is actually, it was just in her April pre-order, so I hope you picked it up if you wanted it. This is Beach Nights, Marshmallow Cake, and Sugar Cookie. I always love a good Beach Nights blend this time of year. I have Pink Flamingo from Swanky. I have Key Lime Pie Three Cakes, which is the Three Cakes blend from Scoopables, that Yellow Cake Birthday Cake, um, Cupcakes at Tiffany, and Key Lime Pie. Um, I have a scoop in from L3 in its Strawberry Pound Cake, Mimosa Mandarin Rock, and Candy Fizzy Pop. Okay. All right, we got some Scentsy Bars. A couple of Scentsy Bars. Um, I have Lemon Coconut Chiffon. I have Tahitian Twilight. I have Sweet Cucumber. And then I have Blue Agave and Melon. Also from Super Tarts, this was gift, gifted to me by Miss Summer Michelle. This is Strawberry Festival, which is strawberry, sponge sugar, and buttercream. Um, I don't remember if this was in my last month's melting basket or not. I'm not sure. But this is Vampire Blood from Salt Mountain Melts. It may have a Halloween themed name, but to me this is perfect for this time of year. It's Bite Me, which to me is kind of like an effervescent, effervescent fizzy type scent. Blood Orange and Sour Patch Kids. Mm, it smells like a fruity, fizzy, fresh scent. I love this, I warmed it in my daughter's room, so I want to enjoy it some more this month. I don't know if I'll finish it, but I'll enjoy it some more. I got blackberry thumbprints from the pharmacist's daughter, which is house, a house blend of sugar cookies, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and cotton candy. Then I got pecan pie bark, which is pecan pie, graham crackers, brown sugar, vanilla bean, and vanilla butter fudge. Vanilla, vanilla, yeah, vanilla butter fudge, yes. <laughs> then this is a carryover from last month. This is my blueberry dump cake souffle from Teddy B's. And that is fresh blueberries, crispy cake topping, hints of warm spice and vanilla. Then I have Kiss from Swanky. And the only reason I'm opening this one up is because there are no scent notes. 
Oh, it smells like a watermelon, some sort of watermelon, like key lime type blend. So I'm excited about that. Um, I have Crunch Berry from That Smell Good Shop. This is gifted to me by Miss Summer Michelle, which is Fruity Berry, Sweet Crunch Berry. I'm sorry, Fruity Berries and Sweet Country. I can't talk today. Fruity Berry, Sweet Crunchy Bakery Notes. All of that. Then I have some mini loaves from Second and Spruce. The first one is Milk and Cookies, which is the Rich Sugar Cookies. Sugar cookie dough, buttercream, sweet milk, and an extra pinch of sugar. And then I have Dark Nights, which is Palo Santo, Malo Fireside, Vanilla Bean Malo, and Blackberry. Okay, then I have a Pineapple Three Cakes, which is that Three Cakes blend that I'm not going to say again, and Pineapple. From Lavender and Speckles, I have several from Lavender and Speckles um, and Noles Farm Scent. I'm making room in my drawers <laughs> for upcoming pre-orders. Sookie and the Wedding Cakes, which is rich, moist white cake with hints of silky white chocolate and sweet cream frosted almond cookies, um, and the richest buttercream and bourbon infused marshmallows. Then I have Rory, which is soft pink chiffon blended with cashmere musk and sweet strawberry pound cake. Mm, that's very pretty. Then I have strawberries at Deuces Market, which is salty pretzels blended with sweet white cake, strawberry pound cake, and zucchini bread. Okay, then from Knowles Farm Scent, I have After Midnight, which is white oak, vanilla, cashmere, butter, I'm sorry, cocoa butter and cashmere. I have that. And then I have Campfire Confection, which is Amish friendship bread, zucchini bread, sugar cookie, marshmallow, and campfire. Oh, that's gonna be good. I just know it. Then I have my the rest of my loaf of the good stuff which is the sugar cookie dough bread and Palo Santo. I'm hoping to use this up because Travis already has another sugar cookie dough blend in the upcoming pre-order that I'm getting a loaf in. So <laughs> I gotta, gotta use it up. Um, I got another scoop in key lime pie, I'm sorry, key lime coconut birthday cake, which is key lime pie, Gilligan's brew and birthday cake. Mm, this is good. Okay, then I have the rest of this loaf. Um, of Strawberry Royale from Swanky that I will be enjoying. I pulled out my loaf from Swanky of Southern Belle. I don't know if I would use this up, but I'll be doggone oh, if I won't enjoy it. I love it. So I'm going to warm some more of it for sure. From Rose Girls, I have Cake by the Ocean and Cookie Land, which is Florida Lime, I'm sorry, Florida Key Lime Pie, Strawberry Pound Cake, Birthday Cake, Toffee, Butterscotch Pretzels, Cookies, and Confetti Cake. I have Yoshi the Red Nose Dino, which is raspberry sauce, pistachio, and marshmallow fluff. From Harper James, I have So Long Summer, which is um, strawberry pound cake, pumpkin pecan waffles, and sugar cookie. This was in my melting basket probably a couple months ago, and I didn't get through it, so I thought I'd pull it back out and enjoy some more of that. This is a carryover from last month's um, melting basket. I just, I wasn't in the mood to melt it. And this is New Orleans beignets, deep fried pastry dough with a generous dusting of powdered sugar from Dessa's Home Spencer. Also from Dessa's, strawberry zucchini streusel, which is strawberry pound cake, zucchini bread, sugar cookie, and cinnamon streusel crumble. Ooh, mm, that smells good. Okay, and then lastly, I got two brittles from Sassy Girl Aroma. Um, the first one is Brandy's Pistachio, which is pistachio, birthday cake, and zucchini bread. And then this one, I was inspired by Alexis Schluter. I was watching her Sassy Girl Aroma Collection video and realized I needed to pull out another one of Julie's amazing Beach Nights blends. So I pulled out Adam's Beach Party, which is strawberry pound cake and Beach Nights. So, ugh, I'm so excited about it. So. That is everything that is in my Milton basket. I know y'all are like, girl, that is a lot of wax. And it is. And I will probably get through 90% of it. So, and I'm excited about it and all the amazing Milton days to come. Let me know if you saw anything down below that is intriguing to you or that you have in your collection. And when you saw me pull it out, you were like, oh girl, you know what? I need to go and get that and warm it as well. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this and you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would decide to do so. And I think, yeah, that's all folks. So with that, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.